away from that story now. The federal government has taxed indigenous uh, nations pri to pri of private sector to come up with new ideas and innovations that can help solve Nigeria's housing challenges. The Minister of Works and Housing, Babatunde Fashola, made this call in Abuja as he commissioned the private sector-led indigenous prefabrication housing warehouse in the nation's capital. The minister says the federal government is committed to solving Nigeria's housing deficit but will utilize the nation's tried and tested cooperative blueprint. And our correspondent, Amadun Uyi, tells us more. This house was built using prefabricated materials, mostly containers. With Nigerian households estimated at about 45 million and a growing population of almost 200 million, it is believed that innovations like this can solve Nigeria's housing challenge. This building is made up of 12 cabins and at some point we can strip those cabins and then we, we uh, pick them up and relocate them to a new location. It's a, an innovation revolution in housing and power because both housing and power are one and the same in the sense that every home needs power. So um, this is why we're trying to promote alternative ways for younger people to, to come and be industrialists in this form. An ecstatic Minister of Works and Housing, Robert Tunde Fashalawa Commission in the Structure, assures all stakeholders present that the federal government is open to this kind of new innovation. This is welcome, innovation is welcome, it is the driver of growth, it is the driver of prosperity. Whilst government is willing to partner with you, I think you have to do a lot more of the work to persuade the end users to change what has been an acquired taste. Indigenous prefabrication company Calmond says it has the capacity to help the federal government solve its housing challenge. Using prefabricated materials like this for quick, energy self dependent and affordable housing. Carmel has been producing practical ready made houses, containers, and multi purpose cabinets of various sizes in the middle of the construction sector for 33 years, since 1986. For 33 years, it has executed more than 1,000 projects all over the world, especially in 117 countries. The Minister of Works and Housing also assured that the federal government will use schemes like this to leverage on the nation's cooperative blueprint to solve Nigeria's housing deficit. We're looking at also uh, specifications of the type of hostel accommodation for young people around and within university campuses. So there's a lot that is going on in our research department about what the market need is. Very soon we will initiate a cooperative, a national cooperative housing scheme. And the objective behind it is to use cooperatives in housing. You see that cooperatives have been successful in markets, they've been successful in agri, they've been successful in transportation. We think that they have a very, very huge and unrealized potential in housing. Amadin Uyi, Plus TV Africa.